I told you it was coming. You just had to wait a few days. The Jack's Revenge. It is undeniably one of the best pistols in the game and is probably the most fun pistol in the highest hitting. A lot of a lot of titles this pistol has. So if you guys don't know, the Jack's Revenge actually way back when actually had a uh, a magazine size on it. I sadly could not find anyone with a magazine size Jack's Revenge. You would have to have it crafted. And on top of that, there's no more copies. Like you cannot own a like uh, a, a copy of the uh, unless if you have it crafted, you cannot have the actual um, schematic of it. So it's undeniably very hard to find. And if you know someone, let me know, because I really want to try a magazine size one because hitting like like three million shots back to back, back to back is very fun. But that doesn't mean we can't do that uh, just one shot at a time. So we're going to be running a damage loadout and a headshot damage loadout with a reload speed. And of course, it's going to be fire and headshot eliminations cause an explosion damaging enemies within a 0.5 tile radius for 30% weapon damage. Now, if you guys haven't checked out the Corsair video, I do recommend checking that out because the Corsair actually is technically supposed to be comboed with the Jack's Revenge. And in the next video, we're going to be doing that. We're going to be using the Corsair and Jack's Revenge together, which ultimately will give us a basically a really good loadout uh, in damage for both weapons which should be fun. However, let's get into the actual uh, loadout itself. Thank you for Piper giving me this loadout because otherwise I probably wouldn't have had a good loadout for this weapon. But I had to unslot Quick Draw Calamity because she increases your pistol damage by 60% and impact by 75 for the first six shots in magazine. So if you don't know, the magazine of a um, Jack's Revenge is one. So we're, we're, we're going to be doing a lot of damage because you have to reload it every single time. But uh, yeah, we're going to be running Blast of the Past with Story and Hide in Story and Might. So every one second, adds 3% of your current health to the next damage of the next range weapon hit. So very good. Uh, and then Locked and Reloaded because you have to reload it every single time. And you're going to be wanting to do more damage. So that works out. Coconuts isn't necessary, but your boy is probably going to be in and out of shooting enemies. And I don't feel like dying. So we're going to be running that. And then, of course, Hip Shot, which increases your pistol and SMG damage by 17% which uh, is definitely worth it because we're going to be using that pistol. We're going to have a lot of fun. So let's uh, just jump right into the mission and test it out on like a smasher or some, something big, something big. I really want to see how much damage we can do with this. All righty. So I found a smasher right off the bat and I think, I, I think I want a war cry with it. I, I don't know. I want a war cry. I don't know. Let me try it without a war cry. Let me, let me uh, get the head though. Cause uh, with this weapon, we have the double headshot damage. So we're going to be wanting to shoot it in the head. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> that headshot. Bam, and it's dead. <laughs> just dead. Just dead on the ground. Oh, the healing death burst. Bam, just dead. One shot. Oh, oh, woo. I love that. That just it annihilated the smasher. That was insane. I actually can't win until the mission starts because I want to I wanna destroy everything in my sight. Now, of course, this weapon's not really good for crowd clearing. So, like, an encampment's probably not going to be the best. Um, that small explosion is not really good anyways for crowd clearing. It's really more of just like getting that like, you know, little pesky husk that's right next to it, a little damage. But uh, I think we're just going to jump straight into the mission because, you know, like I said, crowd clearing weapon, not it. But uh, uh, definitely one shot capability is going to be very fun. So let's uh, just get it right into the mission. Alrighty. So the mission has started and I'm a little scared because I think this weapon is good in the terms of one shotting anything that it touches. However shooting multiple enemies at a time is not really good like you can't really do that the little explosion kind of helps like right here if the enemies comes close like you can see like it takes a little damage the healing death burst kind of avoids that like the explosion doesn't really help it's too little to notice but one shot in an enemy that that reload speed oh it's wonderful just look at me go wee wee oh miss monster don't worry oh man i forgot to it first <laughs> I want more mist monsters. This weapon is probably uh, really good as a side weapon. So if you guys don't know, like I said, the Corsair and uh, the Jack's Revenge are supposed to be used together. It's kind of like combined. They're supposed to be an ultimate combo. And that's why the Jack's Revenge isn't a weapon that you should be using by itself because the Jack's Revenge, you know, it's like the one shot you have to reload, you know? So what you would basically do, uh, just kind of like a spoiler for the next video that's coming up, which is the combination of the Jack's Revenge and Corsair. What you would do is you would shoot Oh, oh, well, I missed that. You would shoot a Mist Monster, kill it, reload, jump with uh, probably Paleo Luna, most likely. Get the Corsair, swing a little bit, get that pistol damage, and then shoot again, reload, rinse, and repeat. Because you're going to be doing a lot more damage um, just overall by jumping in and out and shooting the pistol and whatnot. So 
you're going to be wanting to, you know, do that. That's just like the little, uh, little, uh, little cup of tea when it comes to, um, the, uh, and the combination of them two. Now, I don't have any coconuts and I don't want to venture off in the middle of the video, but I want like three coconuts. Maybe we'll get lucky and like get some coconuts here. Okay. Now I got a piece of corn. We love corn. Come on. Just give me like three coconuts. Five. Oh, I'll take it. That's the most you can get anyways. Let me just shoot those enemies. Did I just, what, what did I just activate? Was that explosion? Was that just a spawn? Oh, I think it was a spawn. I was like, how did I just destroy that entire area? <laughs> uh, no, it's a spawn shifting. But no, yeah, coconuts are really good because, you know, you're getting that. Also, uh, I forgot, you have, this is a crazy combination. So Calamity actually has minigun, which uh, it's not the, gr minigun's really good if you have like a build on it, but even without it, it's decently good. Like, look how much damage I'm doing, like 23,000 per shot. Uh, and then of course we have uh, the pistols, which uh, are also really good. So in between Jack's Revenge shooting, you can actually just pull out these weapons and do some uh, extra damage. And then you also have Warcry, which is also insane. So like, if there's an enemy somewhere, if I could find like a Smasher, I really hope we get Smashers because I want to showcase. I know, I know you saw earlier the Smasher, how I just like two shot that thing, but you know, you can technically one shot it if you Warcry. And sadly, I didn't get to do that. Well, I knew I should have Warcried, but look at that. Take your gun, explode over there. Uh, just, oh, well, I missed it, but bam, just, I missed the head again, but bam, dead, gone. Oh, it's so nice. Bam, gone. <laughs> the headshot multiplier, just the headshot in general with that double headshot is just insane. One shots, bam, 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 there we go. Oh, I wonder what mini boss we're going to get. Mm, man, I think the highest damage that you can do with this weapon, I think what I've seen is like 6 million, 7 million. Which, if you don't know, like the only other weapon that I've seen do that, um, I believe, I believe uh, the third rail can do that. Uh, there's probably some other weapons, but I know I've seen the third rail, the uh, third rail do that before. So, I don't know. We'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to see if there's any other weapons. But the Jack's Revenge overall is a very fun weapon. I think if you're just running it, uh, just just for uh, just for fun, you know, just casually wanting to kill an enemy with a one shot or maybe there's a mini boss or smasher or mist monster or flingers and you're just trying to shoot it even to take her you can just shoot it and bam it's dead in that one shot uh i know i know piper's running the uh the i think she's using the dirt song maybe the smg no i think that's it yeah she's in the, using the dirt song so i might have to i might have to test it out i know it's a halloween weapon but i know beast and like everyone's been using it and i feel like i'm missing out so I might have to take a break from the pirate weapons after the Corsair and uh, the Jack's Revenge and move to uh, just the Dirt Song, just for the one time. Okay, this thing has a shielder on it. Shielder, please disappear. Ah, yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, let me war cry. I want to hit it in the head because I do have that double headshot damage. Let me just kind of... Oh, did the shielder go on it again? Okay, shielder's gone. Oh, give me the head, please. Oh, there, there, there was, I think I just, there's a uh, four point. What, how much was that? Oh, I don't know. I just kind of see its head, but, oh, is there another one back here? Is that a smasher? Oh, it is. Let me see the head. Let me see the head. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, he's using, Ty's using the uh, Corsair, which uh, is also another really great weapon uh, or video that I did uh, last time. So you guys probably should go check that out. Um, but uh, these, these, man, these, these shielders are like my mortal enemy. Oh, it's a nature one. Oof. I don't know if I'm going to be doing, doing, uh, well, oh, actually, no, that's perfect. It's a nature. I, yeah. Fuck. Yeah. There we go. How much, how much, how much was that? Like 4 million? Uh, was that? Oh, let me, let me see the head. Let me see the head. Come here. Let me see the head. Let me see the head. Come here. Come here. Eh? Come here. Come here. Stop. Turn around. Let me see the head. Hey, yo, get out of here. You're not allowed to be there. Oh, come on. Come on. I don't want to take any damage here. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to see the head on Smashers. It's like a tiny hitbox. We did get that mini boss. I think for the lower enemies, it's pretty easy to kill though. Pretty easy to one shot. I just bam, dead. Very fun. That small explosion though. I feel like the other six perk where I'll do more damage after uh, killing, uh, hitting a or eliminating an enemy with a, a melee weapon will increase my pistol damage. I think I'll probably be doing a lot more damage there and then. So I just destroyed a tree. That's not what I wanted to kill. <laughs> but yeah, I think that should be a lot more fun. I'm excited for the loadout. Let me know if you're excited for that one because I know I am. The combination of it, it's supposed to be really, really insane. And 
I personally believe that it will be insane. So I don't know. Uh, otherwise, the Corsair, uh, definitely good melee and the Jack's Revenge. Really good. The one shot capability on any, any, pretty much any, uh, any, uh, mon or little, any husk monster, any husk is really good. Um, the only downside is like the shielders and the one shot, um, which is very annoying. But like I said, in once in the past few, uh, past years, we did have a Jack's Revenge, which like, which I believe could have three shots on it. So you can just shoot once or shoot three times back to back, which you could literally kill a smasher and about three of those shots. So was kind of op but uh i think they got rid of it a long time ago but i don't know and just being able to ah uh, ah uh, we love healing death first but just being able to do that amount of damage uh that amount of damage is just insane if i can hit it in the head there we go i would have killed it if i could see the head um rtd is kind of hard as like once you're in those circles it's kind of hard to see the head but uh it does a decent amount of damage and yeah, look at that just dead dead oh that guy's dead too dead <laughs> Dead. <laughs> oh, I missed that one. Uh, stupid shielders, man. Get out of here. I wonder if uh, this weapon, if it had piercings, like shoot through multiple enemies, it'd actually kind of be OP. <laughs> I don't know. I love testing out weapons that, like, I've used a Jack's Revenge in the past. I think I've been along since, you know, I think I, I did use a three mag magazine size one back in the day. Um, but, you know, sad to see that's not here. But it's pretty fun. Jack's Revenge is a great pistol. And just overall a great weapon. I do recommend trying it out for yourself. You can. I believe you can get it from Pirate Llamas. If not from the event store. So you know. Should be fun. Whatever. You do get a copy of it. Um, otherwise that's it for the video. Remember if you guys are new. Like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Let me know what you think of the Jack's Revenge. We got Ty go right in front of me. Otherwise you guys have an amazing day. And I will catch you guys in the next one.